We've been talking for decades now about our dependence on foreign oil, our dependence on fossil fuels, the lack of an energy policy, and we haven't done anything about it. And the consequences are dire. We know that global warming is real, that if we don't do anything about global climate change, that we could see catastrophic results. Everything from increased hurricanes to rising sea levels to famine, changing weather patterns, increased drought, wildfires. Senator, what is true and what is false about the causes? Well, I think it is man-made. I think it's clearly man-made. And look, this probably explains the biggest fundamental difference between John McCain and Barack Obama and Sarah Palin and Joe Biden, Governor Palin and Joe Biden. If you don't understand what the cause is, it's virtually impossible to come up with a solution. We know what the cause is. The cause is man-made. That's the cause. That's why the polar ice cap is melting. It's not politicians that can solve problems. They have no technical capabilities. They don't know how to solve problems. Even if they were sincere, they don't know how to solve problems. It's the technicians that produce the desalinization plants. It's the technicians that give you electricity, that give you motor vehicles, that heat your house and cool it in the summertime. It's technology that solves problems, not politics. Politics cannot solve problems because they're not trained to do so. Where a monetary system has become so distorted that the concerns of the people are really secondary if they're there at all. The products that are turned out are for how much money you can get. If there is a problem in society and you can't earn money from solving that problem, then it won't be done. It's a very different system, and it's very hard to talk about because the public is not that well enough informed as to the state of technology. At present, we don't have to burn fossil fuels. We don't have to use anything that would contaminate the environment. There are many sources of energy available. Alternative energy solutions pushed by the establishment, such as hydrogen, biomass, and even nuclear, are highly insufficient, dangerous, and exist only to perpetuate the profit structure that industry has created. When we look beyond the propaganda and self-serving solutions put forth by the energy companies, we find a seemingly endless stream of clean, abundant, and renewable energy for generating power. Solar and wind energy are well known to the public. But the true potential of these mediums remains unexpressed. Solar energy, derived from the sun, has such abundance that one hour of light at high noon contains more energy than what the entire world consumes in a year. If we could capture one hundredth of a percent of this energy, the world would never have to use oil, gas, or anything else. The question then is not availability, but the technology to harness it. And there are many advanced mediums today which could accomplish just that, if they were not hindered by the need to compete for market share with the established energy power structures. Then there's wind energy. Wind energy has long been denounced as weak and, due to being location-driven, impractical. This is simply not true. The U.S. Department of Energy admitted in 2007 that if wind was fully harvested in just three of America's 50 states, it could power the entire nation. And then there are the rather unknown mediums of tidal and wave power. Tidal power is derived from tidal shifts in the ocean. Installing turbines, which capture this movement, generates energy. In the United Kingdom, 42 sites are currently noted as available. Forecasting that 34 percent of all the UK's energy could come from tidal power alone. Wave power, which extracts energy from the surface motions of the ocean, is estimated to have a global potential of up to 80,000 terawatt hours a year. This means 50 percent of the entire planet's energy usage could be produced from this medium alone. Now, it is important to point out that tidal Wave, solar, and wind power requires virtually no preliminary energy to harness, unlike coal, oil, gas, biomass, hydrogen, and all the others. In combination, these four mediums alone, if efficiently harnessed through technology, could power the world forever. 
That being said, there happens to be another form of clean, renewable energy which trumps them all. Geothermal power. Geothermal energy utilizes what is called heat mining, which, through a simple process using water, is able to generate massive amounts of clean energy. In 2006, an MIT report on geothermal energy found that 13,000 zettajoules of power are currently available in the Earth, with the possibility of 2,000 zettajoules being easily tappable with improved technology. The total energy consumption of all the countries on the planet is about half of a zettajoule a year. This means about 4,000 years of planetary power could be harnessed in this medium alone. And when we understand that the Earth's heat generation is constantly renewed, this energy is really limitless and could be used forever. These energy sources are only a few of the clean, renewable mediums available. And as time goes on, we will find more. The grand realization is that we have total energy abundance without the need for pollution, traditional conservation, or in fact, a price tag.